Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's a wonderful plan. I'm Tina. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple of the new Erin Condren notebooks that I recently purchased. These notebooks are specialty notebooks. They have different layouts in them and I wanted to share with you today how I plan to use these. So this one right here is a checklist notebook and this one right here is a priorities and notebook layout. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the the smaller one here first. This is an A5 size and A5 is 5.8 by 8.3 if you are not familiar with that size and that's in inches and this notebook has 160 pages in here. I love the coil on here. It's a rose gold. It's so pretty. It comes with that coil so you don't have to pay anything extra for the colored coil on here. So I just love that. The colors on here a very pretty light green seafoam green type of color at the top and then we've got like this like purpley pink here at the bottom and then it does have little dots of foil on here and that's really pretty it's the same on both sides all right I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here so it does have like that page when you open it up you could use this if you choose to with like dry erase or wet erase markers I personally have never used that this like inside cover with any markers and I'd be curious to know if you have. So drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it. I've just never felt comfortable using this. I was always afraid of whatever I wrote on here would transfer onto here um, and I just really never found a use for it. So if you have any suggestions or tips for me and to share with anybody else, please, I encourage you to drop it down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. All right, so here we have checklist notebook. This book belongs to, and then I'm going to open it up here, and this is how the entire notebook looks. It is full of just this layout, 160 pages of this, and it's the same on both sides here. So it does change color from page to page. So it starts off with like these pink tones in the first couple of pages, and then we move into like an orange tone here, uh, kind of like a yellow, dark yellow. Then we're into like a green here, uh, then more of like a mossy green. And then we're gonna go into some blues here and right here. And then we finish it off with some lavenders and purple and then it does repeat. So that is what the whole book is like. I'm gonna show you the back here. It does finish up with just this back page um, that says making yourself happy tops the list. And then the back cover is just blank. It's similar to the front, but it doesn't have the lines. All right, so let's go back over here. Now I picked this up because I wanted to have a central area for checklists. I feel like I have checklists throughout my different planners and notebooks, and I've found that I'm drawing them in a lot, and I don't want to do that because honestly, that takes time. Setting up the checklist is time consuming enough, and I don't mind doing that. However, I don't want to have to actually draw the lines in like every single month. So initially I was using checklists in my social media planner and I was drawing them in every month and I'm just like, it's too much. And I don't need to have that much room for just one month. So I figured having a nice central notebook is gonna be perfect. So when I saw this one, I was like, great, I'm gonna grab it. And I'm so happy that I did. However, I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to set it up because there's different ways that you could set this up. And of course, um, did I wanna maybe bring in some color in here by using colorful pens? Yes, that's exactly what I decided to do. So I have a couple of pages here that are set up. Some of them are repetitive because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first thing that I did here. I'm gonna flip this over and share with you the uh, couple of checklists that I really need and I think that are gonna be really helpful for me. And that's a morning routine and an evening routine. So what I did was I decided to write morning routine in here. I wanted to add a little color. So I did use my colorful dual tip jewel ink 
um, pens on here. I do have those swatched out right here and you could see how that looks. I'm gonna show you the actual pens here themselves, but I'm not doing actual swatch out videos. That's why I wanted to show you my like swatch page, and then that way you get an idea of how these work. But this is what these look like right here. They're colorful dual tip, dual ink pens. So one side is a highlighter, and that's this one right here, spruce. And then the other side is a fine tip and it is a different color. So it's really kind of nice because you use the highlighter side first to put that down and then you write over it whatever it is that you wanna write out. Obviously, that's just one way to use them and that's how I use them in this particular page right here. So I use the highlighter, highlighted morning routine, and then I put the days of the week in here, all right? So I've got Monday start with Sunday. It does come with eight little sections. So I had an extra section there, which I was fine with. And then I went ahead and I wrote out my routine here. I had a lot of lines to work with, so I just skipped the lines in between. And that's how I set it up. Um, and then I did the same thing for this side with the evening routine. I just chose a different color to use. Now, as you can see, I haven't started actually using this yet because I really did want to share with you how I had it set up. So this is just one way that you could obviously use this. Now, I didn't really like the way that this looked so much, so I did change this up a little bit. So let me go to what I did, because I have a couple of versions of how I set this up. So here I'm gonna um, come over here, and on this particular one, this is morning routine, and I decided to use like this whole like two pages for the morning routine, and then I set up these two pages for evening routine. And let's go back here and look at this. So I went ahead and used, again, the colorful dual tip dual ink markers, because I really liked the way that that worked out. And I changed up the writing a little bit just to make it a little bit more fun, kind of playing around with my um, lettering a little bit, and I had fun doing that. And then I did decide to continue to put the days of the week in this section in that colorful pen. And then what I did was, I, instead of skipping lines, I decided to just write them on each line. However, I had a lot of extra room. So I figured, well, I kind of want to have this set up for the month. So I thought, well, let me go ahead and do like a four week kind of layout here. Because again, this is Monday through Sunday. So now I've got one week, two, three, and four weeks here. And then I decided to use the little highlighter here because I am going to go ahead and write the dates in for the month, okay? So this is how I was trying this out. So this is definitely one way that you could set this up. And then of course, I did the same thing for the evening routine. Quite honestly, I, I don't know, after I did it, I was like, wow, that's just a lot of repetition for each week. So. I came up with another way for me to go ahead and use the same pages, but for a whole month. So that way I'm not like using two pages for one month. I am just using one page for a whole month. So I switched the way that I have this laid out. Um, I have my morning routine here, and then the evening routine is on this side. So I'm gonna come over here and I went ahead and put in Monday through Friday dates because I realized that my morning routines are different on the weekends than they are through the um, weekdays. So I went ahead and like put those dates down. I was initially going to put the whole like, you know, dates for the for the month. However, I didn't have enough room here for the 31 days. There weren't 31 lines here for me to go ahead and use. And then that's when I really realized, well, I'm not doing the same morning routine on the weekends. So why am I like 
putting that in here. So I took my calendar, I looked at it, and I just put the dates in here. And that's what these lines represent. These are the just the, like the week. So since the first starts um, in the middle of the week on a Wednesday, I just have like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then this skips to the second week, which is of course Monday through Friday. So that's how I set this up. And then I put my actual routine things up here. Now, of course, I only had eight things to put on here. So I went ahead and I condensed my list down a little bit to make it work for me. This was a much easier way to set things up. It was much faster. It's all set up for the whole month. So I'm definitely going to use this for March because I even wrote on here March. And then again, the dates do match with my weekdays for March. So I have this one set up here. And then I did the same thing here for my evening routine. I thought that that was such a great way to use these. So it was definitely a work in progress. And that's really what happens when you start like with a new layout or a new type of notebook. You kind of need to figure out exactly how it's going to work for you. So I personally like to start in the middle of the notebook. I don't know, there's something about opening up the notebook and starting like right away with it. And then, oh, what if it doesn't work? Like I start overthinking it a little bit too much because that's just kind of what I do. And then it, it kind of deters me from using it. So what I have discovered is that if I open up the notebook into the middle of the notebook, it's like less intimidating to me to try different things and use it in different ways because it's the middle. Like if it doesn't work out, I can, you know, tear the pages out, get rid of them or, or refer back to them, but it leaves the first part of the notebook in like kind of like a nice clean way. I know that sounds like weird and I will go back and use this, but I feel like um, the things that are at the front of the notebook are going to be things that I just want them to look a certain way. And that's just me. I'm just really like particular in that way. You can obviously do whatever you choose because it's, you know, it's your notebook. And if you're not as particular with things, then, you know, you just dive right in and you know what? That's great. That's awesome. I wish I were like that. I'm not, but um, so this is definitely one um, type of list that I want to have for myself. Now I do have another list that I want to share with you here. And that is, I'm going to get to that. It's like tucked in here, a weekly cleaning list. I thought that this was a great way to set this up for keeping your house organized, tidy. Really, it's more about being organized and tidy clean yes but not like perfection it's just kind of nice to be able to do these things and spread them out over a week's time as opposed to just like leaving everything for one designated day so that is what i went ahead and did and i really like the look of using the colorful pen this particular one i used uh one of these i'm not quite sure i do have these swatch out of my pens and here, here are the colorful gel pens, and that is um, these right here. These are new to Erin Condren. I love them. They write so nice, and I use the bubblegum color, which is actually this one right here. So I really, I love it. They're so pretty. They're like, they look pretty, and they feel really nice because they have this like rubberized um, casing to them. So, and then it does have the pretty like gold hardware on here. So I picked up a lot of new pens along with these notebooks and I do have a haul video of that. So I will link that down below if that's something you want to go back and see what I picked up from Erin Condren in one of their like last releases. So, and these came out February of 2023. So I marked it here um, when they came out. The other pens that I used, I'm not sure if I wrote that down. 
no, I didn't write that down because I wasn't sure about the release, but I thought going forward on my little swatch notebook here, I will write the release so that way I know when they were actually released. That way, if you have questions, I can actually refer and answer them for you. All right, so back to my checklist here. So I decided to create this cleaning checklist. It's just different things that really need to be done and I feel like they pertain to everybody, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the list and then I'm gonna show you um, how I plan to use this. So I have here kitchen counter, kitchen sink, um, clean appliances, sweep floor, mop kitchen floor, clean out fridge, uh, tub, the bathroom sink, the toilet, Swiffer the floors, clean the mirrors, dust house, vacuum, Windex tables. I happen to have glass top tables, which I don't recommend getting because they're a lot of work. Just a little side note for you. Um, tidy catch-all table, uh, collect garbage, water plants, and go through mail. And obviously, I have room to add different things on here as I need to. So, I'm not going to do all of these things, obviously, every single day. That's the point of this. Um, picking out what you want to do um, when you want to, like, do the kitchen counter. I like to pick out different things, a couple of things each day, and it really does help keep my house very, like, tidy. I am, like, the central house in my family where everybody comes. So I have learned that if I wait till, like, People are coming over and it's like the day before or a couple days before I feel so like stressed and rushed and the anxiety like sets in because oh my gosh I have to clean the house from top to bottom and do all of the things because I'm going to have company come over right well by keeping my house up this way it's way less stressful for me and it it's just seems like less to have to worry about like on a big scale because doing all of these things I believe me I've done all of these things in like one day and it is like it's like ah you know you're running around and it's like way too much and again too stressful so to reduce that having something like this set up actually has worked out really well for me that way I can just kind of keep up the house now do I stick to this? Is Am I like perfect with this? No, absolutely not. I am human. I create these things to help me. Am I perfect with keeping up with them? No, I don't ever want you to think that because I am not, okay? I will forget to do things. I'll have to go back. And yes, I still have those times where, oh my gosh, I'm having people over on Sunday and I need to like... I need to clean the house, but um, it's not so crazy usually for me because even though I haven't not stuck to this like every single day or done the things that I want to do on like each particular day, I still am like doing them, okay, throughout the week. So maybe I have designated I want to clean the kitchen counter and the sink on Monday, but I don't really get to it till like later in the week. It's all right. So my thought was is that here's the list and what day do I want to do this? Um, I thought about actually highlighting each item and this is the day I want to do the kitchen counter and the kitchen sink, you know, highlight Monday. And then, you know, this is the day that I want to sweep and mop the kitchen floor on Tuesday. So you could set this up however you want. You know, you can like highlight each box for each subject. And then once you complete it, check it off. That's definitely a way to do it. That's one of the things that I was thinking about how to use this. But um, I don't know, that might be a little too structured. But who knows, we'll see what happens. But just having it set up this way with the things that I really do need to do on a weekly basis um, really just kind of helps me out. And honestly, I'm very much a pen to paper person, obviously. Once I get things down on paper, it really just frees up my mind. And sometimes I may not even refer back to it, but just the fact that I did that activity, writing it out helps me so much. So if you ever find that you're writing out like habit trackers or checklists or things like that, and you're not going back and checking them off, 
but you're doing them, then it's working for you. All right. So don't feel bad if you feel like, oh, I kept, I, I forgot to check this off, but I know that I did it. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. And that is how you are using your notebooks, your planners to work for you. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because yes, this looks pretty and neat and wonderful, but I don't always go back and look at it and check it off. But I do know that I need to get these things done throughout the week just to give myself peace of mind and reduce my stress. So the same thing stands true for like my morning routine and my evening routine. Just the repetitiveness of setting the pages up really do help me out. It has to do with me being a very much a visual person and just the, the um, activity of writing things out help me remember what I need to do. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is another checklist that I created in here, I have to find it. And this one is very specialized because I'm a content creator and I need to keep things organized for myself. And I like having checklists Again, I don't always refer back to them, but writing them out, setting them up helps me remember. So I have over here some checklists that I set up for my content creating. So I set up one minute videos and these two are the same. And I have YouTube videos, which these two are the same. So I've got two pages worth that I can, you know, set up ready for me to go ahead and write down what I need to for the videos that I need to create. This is going to be so nice because I was actually doing this particular setup in my social media planner for each month. And that I'm like, I did it for January and for February. And I'm like, no, this is too much work for me to do every single month. Not only that, but it was a much larger page for me to go ahead and have to set up. And I did talk about that in my March planner setup video. So if you haven't seen that and you wanna go back and see my March planner setup for my life planner and my social media planner, I'll go ahead and link that here for you to, to go ahead and watch. All right, so here we are with this one minute video checklist. So the way that I set this up is that I'm gonna write the video that I went ahead and filmed or going to film, put it here, and then here are the things that I need to do with it. So this is my checklist right here to go ahead and um, make sure, well, film obviously, but so this is kind of almost like the ideas that I wanna film, um, and then upload it to InShot. I need to edit it. I need to add music or audio captions and a caption. I need to do tags, hashtags. Um, and then if I posted them to the shorts, which would be here on YouTube, um, Reels is Instagram. And then of course, TikTok is TikTok. So these are the three platforms that I will post my one minute videos on. So I want to make sure that I have an area here to keep track of when I posted them and if I posted them because I don't post an everything that I make on every platform that I have. That is my a goal, but I have not been consistent with it. So I'm really happy with this checklist because it's one central checklist as opposed to the way that I had it set up before where I had this checklist set up like for each month. And I was only using like this little portion of it because depending on how much content I was able to get out for the month, I wasn't even using the whole page. And having everything like like centrally located in one checklist notebook, I think I'm really gonna enjoy using this. Um, so here's another repeat of that. And then the YouTube is set up the same way. Now, these particular topics, I did print these out onto clear uh, sticker paper and it, all I did was just or, like type them out. I don't have like a Cricut or Silhouette to cut them out or anything like that. But I do from time to time make myself my own clear stickers to make my life easier so that way I'm not constantly rewriting things all the time. So, and since I do have like different areas in my life in this checklist notebook, I think what I'm going to do is use some page finders, which of course you can get these from Erin Condren, to go ahead and kind of like separate things so that way I can find them a lot easier. So these just kind of pop right in here. I always feel like anything that you put on the coil has always, I don't know, I just am not that 
great at it, to be honest. Okay, good. That one went on there nicely. So that way I can go ahead and find what I need to pretty easily, and then I'll be like kind of color coded. So I think that that'll work out really well for me. All right, so as I am wrapping up talking about the A5 notebook here, I realized that I had a lot more to say about this notebook than what I thought I was initially when I started filming this video. So I'm going to break this video up into two parts. This one right here, talking about the A5 checklist notebook and how you can use it. And then I'm going to have a separate video talking about the Colorful Cosmos notebook. And this one is priorities and notebook layout. And I have got a lot of ideas for this notebook. So this one is also going to take me, I thought it was going to take me definitely longer than talking about this one. So that's the reason why I decided I'm going to split these up because otherwise it's just going to be way too long. So I hope that you liked this video talking about the checklist notebook. It's so pretty. I'm loving the coil. It's just really, really pretty. And um, it's a rose gold coil. Again, it comes with this. So I didn't change anything on this notebook. The cover is the way that it comes. I will go ahead and link this product down below in the description. I am an affiliate of Erin Condren. So what that means is that if you do purchase anything um, from Erin Condren and you use my link, then I do earn a small commission. I thank you so much to those of you that have already used it. And thank you for thinking about using it in the future. I really do appreciate that. It helps me out. Um, these items, I did purchase them myself. Everything that you see here, I've purchased myself. That's all from Erin Condren. But I will go ahead and list um, some of these other items that I used and shared with you in this video. So um, like the pens that I have here, um, I will go ahead and be sure to list that for you. So that way, if you do want to pick up any of those, you can find it um, very easily just by clicking on the link. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a like. Um, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell and drop a comment down below. Give me your thoughts, ideas, ways that you might use this um, notebook because I'm sure any of your tips and ideas other people could definitely um, use as well. Thank you again so much for joining me in today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.